explain. So what I did here is, if you look at this, federal, uh, the federal government did uh, go ahead and do the IRS 179, which allows a person or a, an organization to, to uh, deduct up to $500,000 of capital expense in one lump sum. So normally if you've got a schedule, let's say you uh, have a tractor and you're a farmer and you have a tractor, and, and so if, if you've got enough capital investments to equal $400,000, what you're gonna do is when, uh, with the, uh, the IRS 179 is it allows you to, to deduct everything up front. So let's just say that that $400,000 um, investment purchased in 2015 and it's based on a 35% tax bracket. So at $400,000 minus the, the 35%, you have a $140,000 deduction, which you can take in one year. Otherwise you'd have to take that over the normal uh, depreciation schedule, which is at five years for a tractor or seven, you know, what it, what it is. I, I took it at, yeah, seven. seven. Okay, well, I took it at five, so it, um, it would be seven, so sorry about that. So we'll just take that to mean that if they did not allow that, you'd be writing it off over five years, which would be $28,000 per year over five years instead of uh, that uh, 140000 that you can take. So that makes $112,000 difference to that that investor, that, that person who's using that capital. Because the first year, you can take it all. So when the state decides to couple with the feds, that $400,000 investment that you made in the state of Iowa on your state taxes, you'd be able to deduct about $30,000. If Iowa decouples, it means that that $30,000 that you could have taken over the first year will have to be written off over five years, which would be $24,000 difference on this year's uh, 2015 tax return. So, and what's interesting about this is uh, the governor, when he came out uh, with, his, with his budget, originally wanted Iowa to decouple, which means there's a lot of deductions that you're gonna lose that first year. You're gonna have to take it over five years. So, and what's interesting now is the governor has come back and said that he would uh, consider coupling when he originally had not said that. So the House passed this uh, with 84 votes. It was very, the, the, the coupling was very important to the state of Iowa, I believe, because it gives investors the ability to, to take that up front that amount and that allows them to put a lot more money back into their business, back into employees, back into more, more, uh, more purchases, which is really good and spurs the economy. So I think, uh, I definitely think we should be coupling. Uh, and uh, Mark, you may not be quite as optimistic as I am that we're going to couple, but I think that there's, uh, the fact that the governor sent the signal that he's willing to look at it again, Plus, he did extend the amount of time you have to file your taxes if you're a farmer, which means that he pushed it back to, I believe, April 31st, in when it normally would be uh, March 1st. Okay, so he's given an extra 60 days, hoping that we can work this out and uh, the Senate will come along with it. And uh, then you won't have to file your returns twice because you, if you had to file them by March 1st, you would have had to I guess you'd be guessing on what you're gonna do because you don't know what the state's gonna do. So that's the best explanation I can give of that. Um, and I'll let Mark uh, expand on that if you'd like to.